If you have spent any time in a car from late January through March, you have most likely noticed a faint whiff of something in the air. And as you drive on, it gets stronger until it is overpowering and unmistakable. The smell of a skunk. And then you see the source, yet another dead skunk on the road. This is a really common occurrence at this time of the year, but what is the reason behind all of these roadkill skunks? It is very simple and has to do with skunk biology, their reproductive biology to be exact. This is the time in which females are receptive for breeding and the males are out searching for them. The males can cover quite a bit of ground in their quest for a mate and this wandering often has them crossing roads. Roads and critters are not a good combination and especially so for skunks for a couple of reasons. First, skunks have short legs for their body size and their rear legs are longer than their front legs. This gives the skunk a waddling gait, which looks adorable as they amble about, but is not so great for speed. Skunks would not win a 100 yard dash against many other four-legged critters, not to mention an F-150 barreling down on it at 55 miles per hour. If you love cool critters like the skunk, waddle on over and pounce on that like button. Of course, in the normal day-to-day -day life of a skunk, they don't have to be quick. Since they have a potent chemical defense, they can deploy if needed. Again, this is not too handy at stopping a speeding car, although the occupants might not like it so much if they hit the skunk. Even though many of the wandering males are killed by vehicles, luckily for skunks as a species, a single male can breed several females. Enough males survive their wanderings to get the job done and the cycle of life continues. After a gestation period of roughly two months, the females give birth to an average of six blind kits and sometime in May or June, we get to see, if we are lucky, the ridiculously cute babies out and about with mom. If you have any cool baby skunk or any other baby critter stories, please share them with us in the comments. Would you like to learn about another cool critter that often has trouble crossing roads? Well, check out this video and get out and explore nature in your backyard.